the view from a two-meter surfboard under tow in the Pacific. Onboard instruments measure near-surface salinity. Salinity is an indicator of ocean processes. What we call it is a passive tracer, or a tracer of ocean water motion. APLUW oceanographer Bill Asher links ocean salinity not only to ocean currents, but to temperature and evaporation, all key elements of climate and climate change, which is why it's important to measure salinity as accurately as possible, traditionally using ships and buoys, and now by surfboard. Three, two, we have ignition. And by satellite. And liftoff of Aquarius and the SACD Observatory. On an internet. There's a new satellite in orbit called Aquarius. Aquarius will provide a key to help unlock links between ocean circulation, the global water cycle, and climate. Aquarius uses an instrument on it called an L-band microwave radiometer, which measures the microwave emissions from the ocean surface. And by looking at these microwave emissions, you can track that back to how salty the ocean is. Aquarius coverage is global, but relatively shallow. It turns out that the radiometric penetration depth of, of microwaves that are used to measure salinity is a few centimeters at most, meaning that these radiometers are measuring the salinity in the very top of the ocean surface, very top. By contrast, the towed surfboard takes salinity readings at depths from five centimeters to two meters. APLUW scientists believe their salinity measurements at depth can help calibrate Aquarius data from space by factoring out a key variable in ocean salinity. Fresh water. Well, you might imagine as rain falls on the ocean that it makes the ocean fresher and salt fresher. And that fresher water is less dense, so you can get these less these lenses of fresh water overlying the salty water that's down below it. Some ridiculously hard rain. Fresh in water on the sea surface could spoof the shallow satellite reading. The deeper APLUW surfboard measurements go into computer models aimed at allowing Aquarius scientists to factor in transient freshwater gradients. We found one patch that was five kilometers large. Uh, it's not the same size as an Aquarius pixel, but it's large enough to corrupt an Aquarius pixel measurement. So the Aquarius scientists need to be able to flag those pixels as areas where there has been rain and those pixels are bad. The Aquarius scientists need to know which parts of their data they can trust. Because when the satellite flies overhead and it takes a picture of a particular region of the ocean, you need to know how many near-surface salinity gradients there are, how large they are in terms of extent and also in terms of the, the magnitude and the salinity gradient, so that you know if they're going to affect the calibration of the satellite. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.